welcome back guys in this video we are going to understand introduction part of jenkins and how to install jenkins in our windows operating system machines now so first what is jenkins jenkins is one of the leading open source continuous integration tool this was originally developed as part of hudson project in the year of 2004 at sun microsystems later point of time in the year of 2010 oracle acquired the sun microsystem and they renamed this project to jenkins so hudson project now calling as jenkins jenkins is leading open source continuous integration tool which is used to achieve ci and cd in projects continuous integration and continuous delivery now so if we look at this diagram jenkins is the main tool which is interacting with several other tools to perform build automation in the applications now maven that is a build tool git version control tool negios continuous monitoring tool selenium or junits continuous testing tools puppet for configuration management ansible for continuous deployment with the help of all these tools jenkins is going to perform continuous integration now so for now understand how we can install that jenkins tool in our machines now first download the jenkins tool after that you we are going to start that jenkins server by using a java command then we can access jenkins home page now let us see here downloading jenkins go to browser type download jenkins first link itself from jenkins.io website here we can observe for which operating system we need to download the jenkins so here i am going for version of 2.164.1 which is a stable version of jenkins and i am using windows operating system so let me click on windows option now it is giving a message thank you for downloading windows stable installer so at the bottom you can you can observe that file is getting downloaded let me pass it i have that file already now software here i have a folder called jenkins here we can see jenkins.msi this is windows installer let's double click on that run next next install click on s yes. it is getting installed it will take a while now click on finish now once jenkins tool is installed it is trying to open a home page here if you observe it is open that application with localhost colon 8080 that means by default jenkins application is running on a port number called 8080 this is jenkins also internally a web application which is running on tomcat with port number of 8080 but here in my system already oracle database server is running with a port number called 8080 so we cannot run that jenkins with the same 8080 port number in this system two programs cannot work cannot run on the same port number now we can start the jenkins on different port number now i will show you how can we start that first go to jenkins installed folder here c program files jenkins folder now in this folder we can observe one file with the name called jenkins.war file now let's execute this war file for that we have a command java space iphone jar space jenkins.war if we execute this command then jenkins server is going to start that it is going to extract that war file and embedded server also will be available in that now so as it is by default running on the port number 8080 we need to change that for that we need to pass one extra key value pair that is double iphone http port is equal to some port number here i am passing 8181 now so 
now try to execute this var by using command prompt let's open our command prompt here type cmd we can enter now open a command prompt java space iphone jar space jenkins dot war space double iphone http port is equal to 8181 now so guys please uh, understand that already my system is having java software if anybody doing this for first time make sure that java is installed and you are set up the path for jdk bin now click on enter now beginning extraction from war file the jenkins war file is getting extracted once that is done it will start jenkins server we can access that from browser so in this i am using a command java space iphone jar space war file name that is jenkins dot war this is optional parameter if i don't give this http port parameter here that will try to start on 8080 port but in my system as oracle already running on 8080 i am running jenkins server on a port number called 8181 first time it will take time to start that server here we can observe that jenkins initial setup is required an admin user has been created and password is generated below is the password which is used to create that or which is used to unlock the admin user same password we can find in a folder c users username dot jenkins under that secrets there that initial admin password file will be there we can open this file by using notepad and we can take that password to unlock that user now let's go to browser let's type localhost colon 8181 that is a port number i gave for jenkins now click on enter here we can see a message please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work so we can observe the console completed initialization Jenkins is fully up and running now go to our browser here we can observe unlock Jenkins by giving administrator password where that password is there here we can see that it is printed this password you can copy this password or same password will be available in this location also now see here here also it is displaying that c the users hp dot jenkins secrets folder initial admin password so let me go to that location to copy that password c users hp here we can see a file folder with a name called dot jenkins open that here secrets then initial admin password right click edit with notepad plus plus now let's copy this go to our browser where we are accessing the jenkins web application paste that password click on continue now here we can see that jenkins page is accessed here we have two options install suggested plugins are in select plugins to install so i am going for first option which will install some plugins which are required for our application to achieve ci and cd now click on that here it will install some plugins like ant git maven etc some plugins are some error is occurred retry install selected plugins
now it is trying to install some plugins yeah here we can observe some plugins are getting installed it will take some time to install all these plugins once all these plugins got installed it will redirect us to next screen where we can create users for the Jenkins observe the console it is downloading so many things that means it is installing so many plugins those are required for our CI and CD still these are loading Here we can observe that SVN plugin, Git plugin, pipelines, Gradle plugins, so workspace clean setup plugin, timestampers, build timeout plugins, credentials binding plugins like that, email node extension plugins, LDA plugins, mailer plugins like that, several plugins it is trying to install. We can observe on the console what are the plugins it is getting installed now this is our Jenkins console where it is trying to start the Jenkins server with a port number of 8181 here we can see some messages from Hudson as we discussed Initially, the name of this tool was Hudson. Now it is renamed to Jenkins. Here it is downloading git git client and git server
here we can see what are the two plugins that got installed and which are pending guys this will take this much time for only first time because we are installing all these plugins for first time in the Jenkins tool from next time just we'll start the server and we'll directly log in into our Jenkins application to create the jobs in the Jenkins yes guys it's done all plugins got installed now automatically it is redirected as to create first admin user now i'm choosing username as admin password also as admin confirm the password configure full name i'm giving my name as ashok it now i am giving email id so we are at gmail.com save and continue now here it is displaying that instance configuration that is Jenkins URL which is with 8181 port number save and finish so Jenkins is ready your Jenkins setup is completed start using Jenkins so that's it guys we are able to install Jenkins in our Windows operating system now this is dashboard page of the Jenkins currently we don't have any new jobs so thank you for watching